um, hello and um, welcome to thd online tv the gam step of gam celebrity show today we visited or we visit the man of the moment Usain Tada. we all know the big day is this saturday december the third this is the moment that every gambian should be waiting for and now here we are heading to that and we've visited him in his compound here today uh, to have a special interview with Usan. Usan, thank you very much uh, for welcoming THD thank to you. Thank you so much thank and, you, and I very appreciate your visit. So watch out for the full interview with Usan, the man of the moment. I'm just trying to make my portion. Started out with nothing and I'm on a different option. Hello and welcome once again to the Step Up Gam Celebrity Show live on THD Online TV. Now introduction, we all know who we're talking about, the December 3rd day. Um, but before we go any further, like we always say, this is the, you know, it's a baby TV in town. So just click like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So let's go straight into the show and, um, Ebara, how are you doing, man? I'm fine, how are you doing? We're doing fine. Welcome to THD Online TV. Usan Dada, yeah. that's the man yeah. of the moment. <laughs> how been going with, uh, you know, live these days, man? Um, it's been going fine, you know, I have a big show coming, you know, on Saturday, inshallah, you know, so you can see, like, you know, it's all been, like, um, up and down, you know, running here and there, you know, trying to make sure that everything is intact, so the people will definitely, like, not just come, but they will come to witness something with difference, you know. There are many young kids out there who now, you know, hearing this name, Usain, 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 can you give us a bit of background about yourself? My name is Hussein, and then my son name is Sise, you know, and I was born in um, July 1994, July 17, you know, and then I graduated in SOS, started music in 2016, you know, and then from here and there, you know, we've been trying, you know, and doing stuff, you know, you know, but Alhamdulillah, you know, um, with all the obstacles and stuff like that, we always see a way to push harder and a way to push further and a way to see how we gonna be a bigger we, you know, and then that's what got us here today, alhamdulillah. The music industry has become something huge in this country, but how, how did you all start it for Hussein? Because, you know, music itself, as in a sense, it's not easy to compose one song, you know, and then what's even more difficult is for you to compose a song and make an audience get used to the song, to like the song, to grow with the song, you know, for it to become a hit song. You know, so starting, you know, with a little fan base or let's say no fan base by then, you know, it's going to be difficult to get your sounds out there to people. You know, you understand yeah. what I mean? Yeah, but then little by little, you know, we keep spreading the message, you know, and then the people keep understanding, you know, from what perspective we're coming from, you know, and then with the message being right, because like, you know, when I was starting, you know, I was hungry, you know. Yeah. yeah, I was hungry, and then a hungry man is a is a angry, angry man. man. <laughs> yeah, so, so you can tell that at that point we didn't see anything, then not just penetrating, you know. So we were focused, no distractions, you know. So the songs were coming in hot, you know. The songs were really, really coming in hot, you know. The lyrics were like, like they were, like they were busting people's brains, you know. So, you know, with that, you know, we kept doing what we were doing, you know, you know, and then, you know, as time goes on, people started knowing us more, you know, people started getting used to the sounds, people started getting used to the individual himself, you know, and then, you know, that's how it all started for me. Yeah, but it seems like things are going very quickly, you know, moving fast for Usan Dada yeah. in recent years. We'll we talk about that in a moment, but let's just stay with the early stages. You know, Gambian music is a very difficult industry to get yourself into. How do you manage to, you know, to keep that, that momentum, get into where you are today? Um, well, actually, at some point, I kind of lost the momentum because, like, when I started the music back in 2016, 2017, we were, like, the hottest youth in Gambia, you know. Um, back then, we nobles, you know, we were like fire rockets, you know. In those 2016, 2017, boys were just, you know, we were just moving mad, you know. You know we were doing things crazily, you know. But then um, coming into 2018, you know, I kind of had a big setback in 2018. And then when I had that setback, you know, um, it really um, made me realize a lot of things. 
you know, it made me realize that, you know, no matter how big things can be, it can just be taken away from you, you know, in the blink of an eye. You know, so I started strategizing myself, you know, I started um, putting more effort into myself, you know, because you can tell um, by then, yeah. you know, we were like a group, me and Chanta, you know, we were doing very great, you know, every kid was there, you know, you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah so it was, it, was, it was a great moment, you know. So, um, but in 2017, after we did our show in Jama Hall, you know, the show was a success. People came and then the whole place was going crazy. You know, so after that, you know, um, 2018, now we were planning to go bigger. Like we were looking at Penchami Hall. You know, we wanted to go fill up that whole place. But we never had the chance to do that show. You know, and then uh, we fall out with the label. You know, when we fall out with the label, you know, it became a big problem for us, you know, because the label were taking care of, like, let's say, 70% of everything we were doing. So we were too comfortable. But now the comfortability wasn't there. So you can see that, you know, things becoming tough. You know, now for you to shoot a video, you need to understand that, you know, it all has to come from your pocket, you know. And pocket wasn't strong because, like, you know, from after doing the show, 2017, you know how it goes. Yeah. Boys were just flexing. We're like, yeah, money, label's gonna put yeah. our money. So we were spending, you know, and then all of that. So 2018 was a big challenge for me in the music industry. It was like the biggest challenge, you know. So 2018, I really didn't have no show to put out there. 2019, now I started focusing on myself more, like as a solo yeah. artist. You know, even though our, me and Chanta was never a group, yeah. but that's how people saw us, like, you know, so coming into 2019, you know, now both of us are working on solo hits, you know, you know, so 2019 too, we didn't have much to offer, you know, we didn't yeah. have much to offer. I can remember, like, I only have two or one song in the whole of 2019, wow. you know, so that was a big downgrade for yeah. me. You know, coming into 2020, now I'm like, I'm getting there. Getting there. Yeah. Now, yeah. it's now or never. Yeah. You know, and then the pandemic hit. You know, when the pandemic came, you know, pandemic became a lot of, it became a very difficult situation for humankind yeah. itself. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah, for humankind itself. But then in that process, I'm not going to lie to you, pandemic was a turning point for me, you know, because with the pandemic, I had this song called um, Asusa. So it was for Corona, like yeah. it was for the pan yeah. it was for the pandemic period, you know. And then this song happened to be a very big song, you know. And there was a turning point, like it was like, okay, this is the rise again for Hussein, you know. I dropped that, and then months after, I dropped a single called um, I, I dropped a single called No Friends. After that, I dropped. A last single before the year ends called Ring of Roses, yeah. which I featured both Chanta and Uche on it. So now the fire kept cracking. Mm -hmm. And then we got into my year, which was 2021. 2021, I was like wow. wildfire. Wow. Like wildfire. Yeah. Like I was carrying the game on my back from January to November. And then we had the biggest show in Q City that ever happening. We had the biggest show that ever happened in Q City last year. And you're heading there again? Yeah, so we're heading there again this Saturday, inshallah, to break that same record. You know, December 3rd, there have been a lot of work behind the scenes, Usan. We've seen you did a lot of collabo mm -hmm. with top you know, artists. Oh, yes, yeah. you know, uh, we're going to talk about those collabo uh, in a moment. But you know, how many tracks are we you know, talking about come December 3rd? Um, we're looking at 10 tracks, you know, because last year we had 12 songs on the album. This time around we're looking at 10 tracks, you know, because looking at it from a better perspective, you know, giving people too many songs make them not listen to too many songs. So that's the reason why this time around we want to just limit things, you know, give them what they can listen to for a short period of time or a long period of time for us to focus on more bigger projects, you know. So we have 10 songs on the album already. We got about like five collabos, you know, and then, yeah. Any of these songs that you believe definitely will touch the minds of not only Gambians, but the world? Yeah, I have a song on the album called Chosen One, and I have a song on the album called Came From. These are two songs that can be relatable to anybody out there. What is most significant about these songs? What do you think? Okay, you know? so Came From, I'm, I'm actually talking about where I came from. 
you know, the struggles, you know, the hi hypocrisy, mm -hmm. the bad mind, because we know there is a lot of bad mind in where we come from, mm -hmm. the poverty. You know, these are the things that I'm actually talking about on the song called Came From. On the song called Chosen One, that's about me, myself, how I started, you know, how um, things wasn't working according to the way I want, and now how things have changed, you know, how the boy have grew up to be a man, you know, how um, difference is from now and yesterday, you know. So these two songs, I believe, will definitely get a lot of people relating to it, for sure. So far, what are the progresses going into the t December 3rd show? Um, well, the progress is, is that uh, motors are on, like, they're on standby, the media houses standby, the artists are on standby. Because one thing about Hussein, one beautiful thing about Hussein is that Hussein is open to everybody. You know, when anybody has any stuff, Hussein is always there to promote. Hussein is always there to show love. So they always show that same effort and energy back. When Hussein needs services from the artists, the promoters, you know, and then the media houses, you know. So, you know, with that, you know, no pressure, you know, you know, zero pressure. It's just, um, we just waiting on the day now, yeah. you know. The only thing that we're waiting for is the December day. Tard. December 3rd. To lock up King City. Yeah. Shut down. Well, your, your, your album luncheon came at a time when the high up of Gambian music is at, up there. Yeah. You know. Um, others will say the, the music industry in moving. In, re in reality, with the hype, is, it, is the expectation more than what is happening in Gambian music? Um, well, what I say in my, what I always say in my recent interviews is that Gambian music is moving in a sense that now our music are going viral, like in the country. Every corner of Gambia, policemen, you know, state house men, oh, yeah. you know, ministers, everybody knows who we are as individual, like as artists. Artists, yeah. You know, that we have, we are growing, like, you understand what I mean? But Gambian music is not moving this in a sense that Gambian artists are not connected, you know. Oh, yeah. Gambian artists oh, yeah. are more separated than ever, you know. And that's a downgrade. Like yeah. that's 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 a backward yeah. for the industry. Yeah. Because at this point that fans are really paying attention to us, now is the time that we need to come together. You know, we need to understand this that separation doesn't take us anywhere. It will favor a few of us yeah. and then others will suffer from it. So it's time for us to get together and build the industry together. That's what has been this good, the music good in this country. Your recent interview, you know, caught the attention of many music lovers in this country. Yeah. Hussein seeing himself as number two. Yeah. Where do you draw that conclusion from? Um, well, actually, you know, publicity and um, journalism is a different kind of thing. Mm. For today, I can have an interview with you, a plain interview. But on the news, what you will read on the headlines <laughs> and what actually is there is going to be different because looking at it, a journalist will always want people to review yeah. his stuff, be it is for the good or for the bad, you know, because the reviews are why his medium will yeah. always go up there. So um, this number two thing, you know, it's only surprising to people that are not Gambian music lovers 100% or people who generally don't really like Hussein Dada because there are artists that make noise, only noise. They don't have anything to back it up with. And there are artists that really, really don't make noise, but they have the whole industry to back it up with. You understand what yeah. I mean? I don't know if you are yeah, understand. understand it very well. Exactly. There are artists that will come on the internet. They don't have anything to back it up. Do you have many of them in the Gambian? I said a few. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them still making it. They're still, you know. I just, I'm just looking at the day that the noise is not there anymore what would be left there for them to like really talk about. So like the number two thing, you know, it doesn't come like Hussein placed himself as number two because yeah. everybody wants to be number one, you know, but then game has to rec like game always have to recognize game. Yeah. And then I recognize game there, you know, because this person I put on number one, you know, even a crazy guy yeah. will definitely know that this guy is number one in yeah. Gambia, you know, 
A deaf person will know that this guy is number one in Gambia because this guy has been consistent for like 10 years now. Let's talk about this guy. Who do you think is number one in the Gambia? Bro, like, it's SD. You know, one thing I tell, one thing I tell yeah. everybody, yeah. I don't... No, no, no. You understand? You just hit the interview with Nafo, come be more than you can. I will always be straight about yeah. this. And I've always been straight about this. ST has been number one for like years, like like seven, seven years. You understand what I mean? And it's not like, okay, people say, yeah, 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 he's been number one for too long, bro, because he's working for it. It's consistent. Yes. If you want to be like that, be consistent enough, you know? Be consistent enough. Drop hit songs enough. Fill up venues enough. Stadium is like the biggest venue in Ghana. Oh, yeah. And it's like a playground for this guy. You know, for five years, continuously, this guy has been playing with that stadium. You know, I haven't been there yet. You understand what I mean? Yeah. I haven't been there yet. I've seen people who've been there. And I've seen what he has done and what the people have done there. You understand what I mean? And he's still been consistent. And when I said I'm number two in Gambia, I don't mean that Hussein is number two since Gambian music started till today. Yeah. I'm talking about recent, the moment. The moment. Yeah. From 2021 till now, bro, it's no artist there. No artist that's putting in more effort, you know, than me. You know, that's music is crossing borders, like, you know, setting up standards like Hussein Dada. But, you know, um, the reason why I said yeah. there are noise makers, yes. and, but who said that I has never claimed the title? You know, who said that I has never claimed the title? And then this is the reason why most people didn't understand till when I claimed the number two part, that's when they understood that, oh, so he was really this, but he wasn't talking about it. But now that he's talking about it, the hypocrites, they're not understanding it. Because looking at it from like a bright, and a better perspective, you know that this guy is stating facts. And facts will always stay yeah, facts. Yeah. You know, facts will always stay facts. So, like, you know, all the falls and then, you know, that, that it doesn't get to me because... Your relationship, I, your relationship with the good is absolutely great. Yeah. And your collab, you know, or hit the nation. Yeah. You say, no, man, yeah, 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 That song is, <laughs> you know, that, that tells a lot, you know, that... That also explains a lot about your, your, your relationship with yeah. ST. Recently, we've been seeing you together on, in many, many occasions. And all we, you know, we see and read is all good. Yeah. How do you keep that with someone who has been the good for, like you say, with, in consistency yeah, because, like, for um, many years? Because, number one, before even starting music, I knew ST back in 2010, 2010. Wow. It's a long way, huh? Yeah, 2010. You know, he was doing music with P-Mac back then, you know. So, you know, like, that's my nephew bought one of his mixtapes. It was a joint mixtape, GA on Fire. It was um, SD and P-Mac on the yeah. mixtape. So this guys, you know, I used to love this guys. Like, I used to be calling this guy like crazy, you know. Just like today, how fans will call me and tell me that, you know, you're my favorite rapper. You know. That's how I used to continuously mm -hmm. and busily, steadily disturb this guy's phone, you know, to call him say, yeah, you know, bro, you know, you're the best. You, know. you understand what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes I know he will get tired of yeah, me. You know, <laughs> you know, this kid, you know, why is he blowing my phone oh, yeah. like this? You know? Yeah. So that's how we knew each other, you know. But then that time, you know, he was doing music in only English, you know. So, like, I was like, you know, every time I would be arguing with people, they'd be like, yo, who's this SD guy you talking about? You know, because people weren't familiar with him like that. I'm like, bro, you guys don't understand. This guy, he's the best in Gambia, you know, stuff like that. You know, so that's how we started. So coming into 2016, now SD is already a, like... Household name. You, know, you, you understand what I mean? Yeah. You know, so I was starting in the industry, you know, and I can remember, you know, I contacted him and I was like, you know, I've already recorded my first song. You know, and I want you to listen to it. You know, when I sent it to him, you know, he didn't know that, you know, this dude. So it took him time, you know, before he really listened to the song, you know. You know, so, but then one day I was just sitting and then he called me. I was like, bro, SD called me today. Nah, man. I was like, this one is a surprise, you know. So when he called me, he was like, bro, your song is fire. You know that kind of feeling? Yeah, know? yeah. Yeah, coming from a guy like that. I was like, man, this guy's playing with me right now. He was like, nah, man. I'm with people right now. People, like, 
that are big in the industry and we are bumping to this in my car, bro, everybody is going crazy right now. You know, and it even went to a point that it was like, you know, if I even have a label right now, I would sign you wow. for something like this. Wow. Oh, That's God. a great motivation, isn't it? Yeah, so when I, when I heard that, I was like, yeah, man, now the game is not ready for me because like with this like compliment, I can really put that on my shoulder and take myself with it. You know, so, so the relationship is not anything new. You know, like I just took it back so you can understand yeah, where exactly. the relationship start yeah, from. Yeah, you know, exactly. you know, even though there is a gap of age difference, but it has always been respect. You know, it was always been a huge respect between me and him, and that's what God said today. You know, you can't talk about Gambian music these days without mentioning Usain Dada and ST. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, there have been an award ceremony yeah. organized by the Wasahalats group. You know, prior to the event itself in the world, you know, you give an interview and your expectations were high. And do you believe your reward was awarded the right way, um, according to what you have done? About the award right now, like for so many interviews right now, I've done like three interviews. And when they talk about the award, I just told them one thing. Right now, I'm so focused on December 3rd that I don't want no distractions towards award. So maybe after my show on Saturday, inshallah, we can have another interview that we can generally talk about. Answer, I want to say now yeah. that you're going to boycott it like, like yesterday. No, no, the, no, no. Because, you know, yeah, things then, didn't go yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, right, now, right now, the thing is that I'm too focused on this December 3rd that mm. what's I like, it's not like something that I even think about. You know, it's all gone and dusted. But after my, in, my, after my show on December 3rd, even if you want, the following day, we can sit and then talk well, about it. Well, viewers... That is it. We'll be here yeah. in Usain Dada's house and talk about that. Yeah. Well, Sala, you know, uh, Halat Award. But there's something amazing about you and your, you know, your star boy with ST, that your mentality is music to make money. Yeah. And then the mentality is always to make money, not to make noise and deceive people with delusion. Exactly. Yeah. You know, because like one thing, okay, music, we, they have used this. We have been in the industry. Yeah. If you ask SD, you ask S, um, Attack, you ask Jizzle, you ask anybody else out there, they have used us in so many occasions. And then this use that they used us happened to open our eyes and know the reality about showbiz. So that's why now it's difficult for anybody to knock on your door and really use you like the way they did you yesterday. So now it's not about Yesterday, we have hungry songs, yeah. songs that we will drop a bar that you will tell yourself, hey, how did Hussein that I come up, come up, like I come across this bar? How did these guys, how, how are they even thinking about stuff like this? But now you will see that, you will see less of that in our music because now we are focused on like, um, we are focused on commercial songs. You know, songs that are going to be played on the radios, songs that are going to be played in clubs because this is what brings you money. You know, so that hunger now, we will come up with one song in a year that will like generally show people that hey, the hunger is still there. Oh, yeah. But now we are focused on bigger things, which are how to bring money on the table. You know, it's not about now. It's not about you know just just going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now it's about bring the money on the table. We are going for a short break. When we return back, we have some few questions for us and the man of the moment. Like I said, December third is the day. So book it there. You know, let's be there. Let's fill up that. You know, Kew City to give the support to the man of the moment. We'll be back. Enjoy the show from Usandara. Like I said today, we had Kim Serin, you know, in the building of Usain Dada, the man of the moment. December 3rd is the day. Q City, lock up Q City. 
tell the world that Gambia has the talents. You know, the number two, number or two is calling. So let's meet there. Artists have been used before just to go and perform. You mentioned attack. Yeah. You mentioned ST. You mentioned yourself. Fans out there do believe you guys are enemy. You never want to talk about anything that affect the others. But is that a real, you know, scene or case between you and your other colleagues in the field? Um, well, actually, you know, hatred is something that fans just build up in their heads. You know, like, yeah, if fans see me with you today, you are artists. Mm -hmm. If you are artists, I'm just taking an example. Mm -hmm. If they see me with you today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, the day after, for a week, and then the following week they don't see us together, automatically they will say there is a problem there's between a problem. Them. <laughs> That's how fans think. Yeah. And that's the beauty of the music because they don't have to know what's really going on behind the scenes and all of that. But then one thing is for certain is that I have love for every Gambian music artist out there. For every Gambian artist out there, I have love for all of the artists. And then there is no artist that I haven't had good moments with, you know, you know, great moments, you know, you know, talk, sit, talk, have conversations and stuff like that. You know, so fans, they will always have their own thinking, but we, we know what's up, you know, and then we always wish the best. I don't know for others, but I always wish the best for everyone out there. And I wish we all happily come together and build an industry, you know, because I want to see in a year that I can make over 20 million. You know, without even doing a show. You know, you understand what I mean? These are the kind of things, these are the kind of dreams and goals that I have for Gambian music. You know, that you can sit and make 20 to 30 million without even doing a show. You know, so things have to change. You know, if not, we're just going to be eating this few money from shows. And then before the next year, you will finish it and come back, you know. And this rotation, when is it going to end? You know, these are the bigger, like, these are the bigger picture that we need to be looking at, you know, rather than, you know, just bringing animosity and all of that. It won't lead us to anywhere. You know, the atmosphere always creates scene as well. When you said Dada coming, you see a huge crowd following with your Dada, and likewise, Attack, likewise, ST. You know, that is where some people, you know, draw their conclusion, mm -hmm. hey, there's a big issue going between, between artists. So as a top, you know, Gambian artist now, getting into a big album launching, what would you advise Gambian music fans? What I'm going to tell every Gambian artist out there is that, you know, as a human being, there is one thing involved. I've never, since I started music till today, I've never been jumped by anybody. I've never walked on the streets and somebody even tried anything crazy with me, you understand? Because that's why, you know why? Yeah. The way I carry myself, you know. We're saying that I might be on songs and he's a lion, he's a lion in, in a real life. But a lion, too, moves differently. Lions move differently. Yeah. There are different, different artists here that have, that have jumped, you know, others deservingly, others not deserving. Like, none of them even deserved it. Yeah. But as a human being, know how to carry yourself. The reason why I move with an entourage going to a show is because I have a lot of guys around me. And that at some point, you might never know too, yeah. you know. Not you need a protection yeah, Not point. everybody loves Hussein Dada, you know. Some people, who they look at Hussein Dada and then they wish his career ends today so they can laugh at him, you know. Even at shows, there are people that automatically generally come to shows just to come and see your downfall. They don't come there to look at the show and then enjoy. They just come there so that they can see loopholes and then tell other people, yeah, today I went to the show. Man, that nigga, he ain't shit. Yeah. You understand what I mean? He, that, that, we thought he is the deal, but he ain't shit. You know, there are these people that just do this, like that's their job, you know. So what I'm going to tell every Gambia um, fans, music lovers out there is that support your artists. If you love another artist above Hussein Dada, support the artist more than Hussein Dada. But yeah. Respect Hussein, Hussein Dada. Dada as well. Respect every other artist out there, you know, because this is what we need. We don't need you guys to bring separation between mm -hmm. us. We need you guys to unite. The fans are the ones that are supposed to go, hey, we're saying that we want to see you with this guy today. Yeah. We want you to you we understand? Want to collab with today, today. Yeah. not even the collab, we yeah. want you to go like call this guy and you guys, you guys go on live. You know, yeah. we want you guys to bring that ambiance, you know, you understand what I mean? So that's what we too will like. You know, go to this other guy, tell him that today we want to see you with the, you are the fans. Yeah, yeah, Without you guys, we wouldn't be making penny. Oh, yeah. It's the money that you guys bring to shows and stuff like that. That's the reason why boys are eating today. So, you know, you know, that's what I will expect from the fans too as well. But there's a rumor also going that, you know, you always look good when you, you know, appearing everywhere. Yeah. You know, that there's a 
a huge financial base behind you. Um, well, <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's, that's incorrect. <laughs> that's, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's incorrect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's incorrect. Um, as a human being, like yeah. I always say, you need to love yourself as oh, yeah. a human being, you know. You know and um, since I was a kid, even in school, like school, yeah. I would always go to school neat and then go back home neat. Everybody in school always recommended me for that. Like they all gave me that recommendation. They all give me that compliment. Well, you will come to school, you will not even, you know, <laughs> you will not have one single dirt on oh, you, yeah, and yeah. then you will still go home like that. Oh, yeah. You know, that's how my mom brought me up. Like, you know, she brought me up in that way, that manner, you know. Like, I always, she always just wants to see me be mm-hmm. decent. Awesome. Just like all her other kids, you know. So, with that, coming into the industry, it was all the same. You know, even, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. when I was coming in the industry, I was mad broke, like mad broke, you know, you understand what I mean? But I've never played with my appearance, like physical appearance. Awesome. Because at that time, even people that don't listen to my music that much, they was like, oh, that guy, yeah, he always dressed like, yeah, yeah, he always we, we like, yeah, we yeah. like those guys. They don't know about it, that's, that's, yeah. you know, that's an open secret. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but you know, 2022, 2021 has been an outstanding year for Hussein, you yeah, know? Yeah. You know, along the way, you know, a madame came in, you got married, yeah. you know. Today, how you look back at your life since, you know, she get into your life, how do you describe, you know, the, the blessing that she has brought into you as a human being, as a man, and in your career as well? As for girls, you know, or females in general, you know, I've seen a lot of females, you know, um, and then I've seen a lot of wonderful females. A lot of wonderful females and all of that but you know um your soul is always attached to something yeah you know and then um this woman i end up getting married with is somebody i've known for years now mm. you know you know i won't say we're the best couples you know we have our own differences you know we have our own like disadvantages we have our own dark sides and all of that but you will come to realize that this woman you know, you know that she is down for you 100%. You know, and then somebody, not every woman will be down for you in every circumstance, you know, because shit can hit the fan at oh, any yeah. time. Oh, yeah. So you listen to Kendrick Lamar's song, when shit hit the fan, is you still a fan? You understand yeah, what I mean? Yeah. If shit hit the fan, are you still a fan? Yeah. So you're looking, um, if you're looking for a woman, so you remember Balafale. Oh yeah. Yeah, so me Balafale so you know. So me alone ko nim ko e tata fa tinyata. Still be mira la le kabraba diare. Oh yeah. You understand? Yes, man. Yeah, and marriage is all about communication. And this communication, it was very difficult for me and my wife to have this communication before we get married. But when we got married, communication become very important in this marriage. You know, and then she spread played a great role in music musical career because there were times that I wanted to quit music. Yeah, she would always be the one to tell me that there's a bright stage ahead for you. You know, you need to keep pushing. You know, you don't need to make doubters look at you and then laugh at you. You need to make doubters sit and doubt their own conscience towards you. You understand? So this has been something that has always kept me going. You know, has kept me because if I wanna if I wanna quit, yeah. I will always think about there are a lot of people that doubt me. There are a lot of people who want to see me fail. So why should I give them what they want? Why not pepper them? Why not show them that whatever you guys are thinking, it's not going to happen? How do you survive criticism? You guys are public figure. Either you like it, or they select what they want to you know, say about you in the media. You, your wife, or your family. How do you survive this as an yeah. artist? Um, when it comes to me and my wife, okay, my criticism is always normal it will come yes. i will post a picture people will come there and insult me <laughs> and will come, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> you understand what i mean and let me tell you one thing yes it doesn't matter how many beautiful comments you have i swear to god yes. that one comment can always haunt you yes. and can always put you in a tight situation yes. because it's very difficult for somebody to accept that bro after all i'm doing this guy this person yes. is really throwing this kind of shit at me yes. so it hurts but there is a difference between when something hurts you and have impact and something hurts you but have zero impact. So when I look at it, but then there is this one comment I yeah. once saw on the internet. Yeah. 
Somebody posted, there was this nonsense page yeah. that I don't know whether it was created because you know, in the industry, yeah. you have people who will pay blogs yeah. to talk shit about you as an artist. I've seen this too as well. So I saw this person posted that someone texted them and said, hide my identity, you know, but I want to share a secret with yeah. you guys that, you know, who's saying that his wife was pregnant. Oh yeah, I go back across the subject. You know, you know that yeah. really as a human being, yeah. you know, as a human being and as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a Muslim, yeah. you know, that really broke my spirit. Oh, yeah. you know, that very day when I saw that, you know, it really broke my spirit, you know. I was here, you know, my wife was here, you know, and then she saw that, you know, I was in myself, you know, you know, because, you know, fabrications, can, yeah, yeah. you can fabricate yeah. everything and people can be, oh, yeah. you can understand, but I couldn't understand that logic, you know. On that day, I told myself that if I knew who this person was, was if I knew, I'm not a violent human being, but if I knew who that person was, trust me, before that night even ends, that person would have felt the pain that I had inside of me, you know, because those are things that I don't play with, with yeah. you know, you know, and then there's a lot of fans out there, you know, that will see that post and then think twice, is this even true? Because the person made it seem like she's a very close friend with my, oh, yeah. my wife, you know, so, and then the way the me, like the way that uh, um, page posted it, you will see that the page has something against mm -hmm. me. Because this very page I'm talking about, I already blocked, I already blocked the page. Yeah. You know, I don't want to have anything to do with the page because the page has an agenda against me. Oh, yeah. And if you have an agenda against me, you can do it because it's more publicity for me. Yeah. And every publicity is a publicity, you yeah. know, you understand That's what I mean? <laughs> exactly. So you will see that, you know, when they posted that, you know, I was like, I right. they posted what they posted in, but God knows it's enough. You know, and al Alhamdulillah, you know, they had a lot of blast for that. You know, a lot of people. And they were proven them. wrong just yeah, recently. Exactly. So it's recently I saw what's a guy. They were proved. Oh my God, I wish we have a lot of time for this interview. But don't mind the ngafu man, they can't go You know, the publicity, pull the tag and jammy yellow. More baby, you know, long before on December 3rd. We should have done a couple of QC things on the You know, ST canal, you know, or jama jama. I'm very good. Tamil phone canal. I'm very good. Gambian phone. Publicity bit like a When you look back at the events, this is what I'm. Could be fake. Yeah, really. Contano, you know, contano la na ma ma phone. Yeah, I'm content back here. You know, the people are talking about the great event on Saturday, inshallah. And then one thing me and Gena content DJ, we don't go do go le fanan kanya be sabu. You know, na do go me get to watch the show. I want back here. You know. You know, song soul videos, you know, you know, no da 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 the energy, you know, no no um 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 and a lot of other things. So I just come up and be counter back it. And then we'll have to call Sonia Tabolia. You understand? Because cool cause Sonia le need do cool okay. Like right now, look at Daranga Yep. Song like Daranga Yep, I put that Gambia bill. Mobile order, nak. Gambia bill. Come on, come on. Tell the phone say come. It can kill you all. Never see look Oh my God. It can kill you when you say that. Daranga Yep. Because I earlier talk about the Sabla no Tarek Nai. So December third, December third, we could exactly. So if I tell you, that guy Jap, like Naman K, the biggest song thing in Gambia, man song do different. Yes. In 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 2022, mm -hmm. song me alone go okay because to talk about a bigger song, mm -hmm. it's not about you talking about numbers on internet and all of that. Anybody yes. can have numbers. Yes. But what I'm saying is that people will sing the hook word for word on every occasion. Nyanta perform la damen. Then the alone go song ning. I am a little bit of 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 a of them turn out to be ungrateful today. But then you have a life like that. You have to say, I'm going to Absolutely. You know, yeah, I'm going to say, so I'm going to say, 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 i am going to say 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 i am going to
Il a trop French mon mot les mêler à nous que il mêle long jani be kelo nous attitude. They will always stay bad your bad. Because they are there. Even not a lot relationship or is not intact today. Yes. But these people were with you before you become an artist. So in industry friends all gone. There are few ones that are real like 100% and there are few ones that are there just to gain from what your current position is for the good or for the bad. So ila happening to be the qualification lampo sunya la wala bala lampo ni wo lampo ta ta fa banta bi na artist jamal no melia no ko kunu ye friend jamal soto bi moti ji because of what relevance dey bala ko teke so ni ni understand you will know how to carry yourself because ni man you understand you in the industry momo na te alite mo nyu you are a new breed so when big cats are giving you hype you can follow ko ah i'm the shit popping but when shit hit the fan oh yeah there's something there there's some of it Usenu na ta ye eh Gambia Usenu ni esti na tele barasi kuro megnola let's have a shoot bit a couple of dabe milk us all every day game pay tana tela tana tela tana tela mama us all every day ko nyin ko do le kamea le kamea ah i'm all about the money i don't need no drama ah afoyen ko le katama Ha huh? and hundred kids for my mama ha huh? ka koro stack up before sama ha 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 yeah yeah ha <laughs> ha uh, uh, yeah yeah ha 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 yeah yeah nika so every day tana tela kanandile i'm just trying to make my portion started out with nothing and now I'm on a different option i'm not the same approach me with caution now if you call your minus for latin and tell ka plus don't need no story 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 huh money on my mind i did that journey 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 huh don't play no game stop acting funny 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 huh boss got my back on told book a worry 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 <laughs> Gambia, yeah. 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 THD Online TV. Yeah, yeah brother. Yeah, yeah I want to say a big thanks to THD Online TV. Gambia no follow. Allah make sure because you know why. One thing Gambia no be men understand from this interview. Well, yeah. Kabrina interview you start for be but relax me. You know why? Yeah. Because the way you carry yourself, you understand the coming for yeah. The way you ask the questions. Ndela interview are dependently on how the interviewer is asking the questions. If you are asking it and then i'm comfortable with it i get deep nga interview ni tale na ken tati de ne teke or ne teke fenko ko e fenko ni ne teke guest ni ya na sana kabe foi so i really really appreciate the interview that's why from the start until the end then i've been very comfortable with every question and every answer that i give to you is always come with comfortability ya na sana so ali ta tv tv follow you know they are one of the best this one of the best interview that i have recently and yes, I really appreciate the Thanks fact so. that you know they came all the way to my house they even woke me up this morning <laughs> Gambia yeah no. that's what said that so let's meet at the QC in December uh, Saturday the team will be there Saturday go get your tickets this is the man of the moment let's support Gambia one Gambia Gambia to the world